the Moderna vaccine was done with funds from Operation Warp Speed, and the Pfizer one uh, has funding when it comes to the distribution and manufacture. And I just think it's important uh, that people working so hard, Monsef Slawi and the others, uh, get credit yeah. for this. And President Trump was the one who okayed it. No doubt. I mean, the pace of medical innovation has been forever changed. So all of the scientists, everyone behind this, all the way up to President Trump and Vice President Pence, congratulations on this great accomplishment. We, uh, we're obviously waiting for more news and for the vaccine to be available. President Trump has promised a coronavirus vaccine by the end of the year or maybe sooner. Would you trust that vaccine? I think that we have learned since this pandemic started, but really before that, that there's very little that we can trust that comes out of Donald Trump's mouth. Let's just say there's a vaccine that is approved and even distributed before the election. Would you get it? I will say that I would not trust Donald Trump. Biden and his very liberal running mate should immediately apologize for the reckless anti-vaccine rhetoric that they are talking right now, talking about endangering lives, and it undermines science. President Trump, as we've just been talking about, accused Joe Biden and Kamala Harris of undermining science by questioning his rhetoric on the vaccine. Is there any factual proof to back that up? No, <laughs> there, there isn't at all. In fact, if you talk to scientists and if you were to ask them who's undermining science, I think the answer here would be Donald Trump. When it comes to having a plan, not leading. The president continues to focus on a vaccine, one that isn't approved or even available. I went to get a checkup last week with my doctor, uh, who just uh, looked at me uh, with sort of a, a wry smile and said, you know, they told me to be ready for a vaccine uh, by early November. And he just rolled his eyes. He said, they're just dreaming. This is a joke. The former vice president says the president is dangerously wielding the possibility of a vaccine as a political tool. If I could get a vaccine tomorrow, I'd do it. If it would cost me the election, I'd do it. We need a vaccine. We need it now. Will Joe Biden get the vaccine if it's available? First and foremost, at the top of the mind, the top of mind for Vice President Biden, is are the American people getting what they need? What they need? You know, the White House has has testing, uh, Brett. You know, folks are tested very regularly coming in and out of the White House. Anyone who's around the president, but that testing, that level of testing, is not available to folks across this country. Now, despite the fact that the president is insisting that it is the Democrats who are making politics of this vaccine issue, the president himself once again today, Pam, claimed or suggested at least that a vaccine could be ready by election day calling it a, quote, special day. It's highly unlikely we'll see results before the election. There's no harm in knowing the results when we know the results. The danger is um, right. deciding to do a Russia move and say that you're just going to put the vaccine out there. And we have the FDA head as well as the drug companies saying they do not want to do that.